You need to get some weapons.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way... I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickle. Eh, and you've guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR... ...for the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries. So they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around. So you are an opportunist. They say, good business is where you find it. to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I and I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though his missus don't seem very fond of me at all. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas, but so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful about getting in Truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now... I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh, boy. You're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this.
We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. Huh? This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Salt of the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know. <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is, is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. 
That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gale's son. Coming up, is that your is air freshener perfume. secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Bummer. He's not here. Maybe these guys saw him. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. They threw out the chalk here. I must have found something more interesting. locked. They did not go inside. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, like new. What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. trouble kid no it's not whoa what the hell you're lucky that tin man here doesn't have a real heart he'd have a hole in it right about now sorry sir you will be once your dad hears about this my dad's missing so he can't tell me nothing my mom said that he's out on an assignment but I know the truth He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone's got to drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. We need to talk. 
those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Can you take a break and let some others have some fun too? Man, you're doped up already. You like to party, don't you? But wait, your voice, you sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? 
I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Go and hide, Maurice. Get your friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Oh, I'm telling you, officer, dumpsters are like a bag of candy. You never know what you're gonna get. I hear footsteps. Someone start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Man, why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape Sutter's out to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. 
If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. 